Introduction. The whole world is your goodness. For us, good enemies, the month of October is a special time for remembrance. We recall the birth of our founder and head. His glorification turned on us as a blessing upon the month of October 1954 and as a saint on the 23rd of October 2011. However,
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
ஏனெனில் இப்பொழுது நாங்கள் கண்ணாடியில் காண்பது போல் மங்களாய் காண்கிறோம் ஆனால் அப்பொழுது நாம் நேரில் காண்போம் இப்போது நான் அரைமுறையாய் அறிகிறேன் அப்போது கடவுள் என்னை அறிந்துள்ளது போல் முழுமையாய் அறிவேன் ஆக நம்பிக்கை எதிர்நோக்கு அன்பு ஆகிய மூன்றுமே நிலையாய் உள்ளன இவற்றில் அன்பே தலை சிறந்தது இது ஆண்டவர் வழங்கும் அருள்வாக்கு My dear fathers and sisters of the Armenian Order, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let me first wish all the Armenians here, the fathers and sisters, a very happy feast and congratulations as they celebrate the 10th anniversary 
of the canonization of St. Luigi Bamela. Surely it's a matter of joy for them to recall the life and the works of their founder as they themselves live a life of poverty, a life of caring for the poor, the disabled, the orphans, and all those entrusted by them and by the world. We can almost say that the Saint Luigi Manella in the 18th century, 1846, that he was born, and during his time he was almost considered what we say of Mother Teresa, he would have been called the father Teresa of his time. Such was his love for the poor that he was not ashamed to beg. He was not ashamed to beg. And even when he went to the Pope to meet him, he stretched his hands and asked the Holy Father, the Pope of that time, to be helpful and considerate to the poor. Perhaps he gives us a certain inspiration as to what is poverty, who are the poor, and what we do for the poor. First of all, what is poverty? The second reading today, the letter to the Hebrews, tells the condition of Jesus, he says, he humiliated himself so much that he became one among the people, one among those people for whom he was chosen to redeem. In all things, in all things he became a human person except sin. That is the condition of the poor. To be and to embody among the poor, to recognize that ultimately, that the poor are the chosen of God. But this doesn't come very easily unless you yourself have seen the pangs of poverty. In the case of Luigi, he himself was poor. He had no means when he was growing up. And he was so poor that he could not even be educated. He could not be But this was the earliest age when he recognized that he is poor of you and one, he said, and I should be helping, I should be reaching out to him. The first reading of Isaiah gives us an inkling of what we have to do. The letter to the the book of Isaiah says three things. First of all, feed the poor. Feed the poor. And feeding the poor does not mean just throwing some food as it were. Reach out to them. Because when you are poor, you are hungry, someone reached out to you. And secondly, give shelter to those who do not have shelter. Raining outside. Perhaps we can say that the rain comes. So many of our slums, so many of our people who are staying on the roads, they have no other shelter. They need someone to shelter them. They need someone to welcome them. And thirdly, as someone says, give roads to those who are naked. Those who are naked. Because for a person promoting his dignity, his dignity, many a time we judge the people by the clothes that they wear. We have our schools and institutions where the dress is a code, as it were, to identify that you belong to this school, you belong to this society, you belong to this particular category. So therefore the clothes are a sign of dignity. So therefore when Isaiah says you go to the hungry, welcome those that are homeless, and also give clothes to the naked, he means that ultimately 
This is the way we have reached that goal. You know, we use that Hindi expression of that Hindi film, Roti Kapra or Makan. Roti Kapra or Makan is the Roti of the food. Kapra is the clothes that we have, and Makan is the shelter that we are. The Gospel today speaks more or less the same thing that gives us a different attitude. That you see God in the prayer, and that is why you have to serve the prayer. You see the God in the prayer. And Jesus himself said, As long as you give it to me, as long as you give it to them, you give it to them. Meaning to say, Whatever you are going to the poor, you are going to be married, you are going to be married. So therefore, the poor are the figure and the direction of God Himself. But I said in the beginning, Luzi was very fond of saying, open more and more tabernacles, tabernacles. He himself had a great devotion to our religious place. But then, for him, tabernacle was not only the, the box tabernacle, but every person who was greeted, he was the tabernacle for him, the tabernacle of God. Because he saw in every person the tabernacle of Christ himself. Like Mother Teresa used to say that, every time I wash a dirty person, every time I try to make, rather I pick up a person from the gutter, I see the face of Jesus in that person. So in that sense, Every person is an embodiment of Christ, is the figure and the reflection of Christ. So, my dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate the feast of Luigi Bonilla, let us always have this heart for the poor. This year is the year of St. Joseph, and we say St. Joseph is the father of the poor. And to celebrate anything that concerns the poor, is celebrated in a way, the feast of the saints, the joy of the saints, that is, the joy of the poor. So therefore, as we celebrate the feast, I will pray for all our Bonilla fathers and sisters that they may carry this image and message of their founder, that poverty comes to them not only as a precept in their books, in their life history, but personally that they are also a sign and symbol of the poor. Holy Father Pope Francis speaks of the church of the poor, the church for the poor. Very often it's easy to say as I am for the poor, my institution is for the poor, everything is for the poor, but when people can make out that you are the poor yourself, that you are a rich man, that you have preference, that you are partial, to those who are not poor, and therefore, ultimately, yours is a life maybe for the poor, but you don't belong to the poor. Many a time we find many of our people and even priests and nuns who are perhaps not hard for the poor, but there is no such thing as congregational poverty. The congregational poverty. The congregation is rich, the congregation is perhaps very much extravagant, but then we still speak of the poor. We have to learn to distinguish what we mean by personal poverty and congregational poverty. And if that poverty of the congregation is not there, perhaps all the individuals are just church for the poor, congregation for the poor, but not a congregation of the poor. And at this, we need to examine ourselves constantly to ask God to bridge this gap that we speak, but at the same time that we are, we are not what we say we are. We pray for our fathers and sisters here, but especially that God may guide them, that your founder may constantly inspire them to rise to higher and greater heights in your service of the poor. The so sent to one day we 
Saint Luigi himself considered and he called himself as a servant of the poor. Servant of the poor. The poor are himself servants. The poor don't work in the big big. They are always servants. But then to say that I am servant of the poor is to degrade yourself to such an extent that perhaps only God can recognize in you your greatness, your richness. We pray for all the ministries that our fathers and sisters are doing. I know that our ministers are doing a lot of work for the poor and especially for the especially able. For the widows and orphans, may they, may God give them the grace to continue these good works that they have started in our archdiocese. Dear brothers and sisters, celebrating with you all forward the feast of St. Louis Manella, we turn to God, the source of holiness, the joy and the crown of all the saints, and humbly make our supplication. be reflected in the words and the actions of those who form our church. Let us pray to the Lord. That the Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Archbishop, Reverend Dr. Peter Machado, and all the priests, religious sisters, in fidelity to God, may accomplish with humility and zeal their ministry for the good of the people of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty, Father. May the Lord of the sacrifice and your hands, for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and for all of His children. Grant us, O Lord, that we who celebrate the sacrifice of our salvation may give our service to you in imitation of St. Louis Vanella as a pleasing victim. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. The mystery of faith. We 
May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on the earth with servant Francis Sarko and Dr. Peter Machado, our beloved Archbishop, the orders of Bishops and all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through him with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the 
name who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb.
Sibai, we see that it's a, an important uh, event is going to take place in the history of Venerable Tirivas. And this is a history that uh, this place for Archbishop Bishop Archbishop has to come in. So we will be having a release of a souvenir uh, on the 10th reorganization of our Savior Sukhanaya.
dedication that brought out the beauty of his dedication. May I now request Mr. Paul to facilitate our superior with Shaw and Anthony Apple with flowers.
the release of the souvenir. May I request Dominic Pillen, the GC President and the Treasurer of the World Council to come and enlighten us about the need of the souvenir. Providence will find the way of the trust for the Central Sponella. Good evening, Your Excellency, Most Reverend Peter Machado, Archbishop of Bangalore, Reverend Father Bodhari Swami, the Vice Provincial of the Bank Providence Province, Reverend Sister Victoria Williams, Delegate Superior of India, Daughters of St. Mary of Providence, Father Francis, Father Nandraj, Father Nadekaram, and all the priests and sisters. And my dear Ukrainian cooperators, lay movement, youth movement members, and my dear sisters and brothers. It is indeed a big joy for the Bereans this year as we celebrate our founder's death anniversary of canonization today. And the 30th year of beatification of Blessed Clara Busata, which we celebrated on 21st April. With humble beginnings of involvement as benefactors in the year 2000, under the vision of the current Vicar General of Servants of Charity, Father Nico, and the General Council of Servants of General Council of Servants of Charity, Father Susevatna, in Dom Vanilla Major Seminary, Chennai. The lay movement has progressed steadily in the last two decades, and we are currently more than 200 Ghanaian lay people in India, spread across 12 different communities in India. As we celebrate the 10th anniversary of canonization of St. Gonella, the Gonellian cooperators plan to bring out a souvenir to commemorate the occasion, which will also serve as a historical document and as a reference for the future. The first and foremost activity in the souvenir was forming of the editorial team, which consisted of Father Landraj, Mr. Hubert Trudy, Mr. Ms. Stella John, Mrs. Immaculate Mary, along with myself. The souvenir needed the blessings of the Holy Father, messages and wishes from the Archbishops, the Superior Generals, the General Councillors, the Provincials of the Ghanaian family, along with our President of the World Council of Ghanaian Cooperators. In addition, how could we forget our formators who inspired and nurtured the Ghanaian charism, set examples by their way of living and encouraged leading for around a quarter of a century in India. They have written such beautiful and inspiring messages that we feel we are still being formed. Their wishes mean so much to us. Thank you for this. Once again, with the inspiration of St. Gonella, we couldn't say it enough and we put our minds together and worked further on the Serenia and decided to contact the superiors and the presidents of the various GLM communities in India to support us with content. On behalf of the editorial board, I would like to acknowledge the efforts of the following people in making of this seminar for translation from Italian for the Pradeep, for Tamil writing for the Johnson and for the Lawrence, and for the self in editing the Tamil articles, Mr. Xavier S. Jalan Bangalore Treasurer. I would also like to appreciate and thank all the advertisers who helped in bringing out this seminar. It is God who does. We are grateful to God for giving us this occasion to take part in the charism of St. Louis Vanella and hope to lead in our motto, the charity of Christ by Jesus. Thank you.
October 23, 2021. Excelibus Vaticanus DA 39, 2021. Signed by
in fulfilling this endeavor successfully. Thank you, Father. We would also like to thank all the parish priests of our neighboring parishes, Christ the King Church, Vaidati, Holy Redeemer Church, Hindu, St. Mary's Church, Hegdenagar, for all their support and love for us. We would like to thank Sister Victoria William for her motherly care and affection that she shows for every action, for every task that we take up, and we heartily thank her. Thank you, Sister William. <laughs> we thank Father Francis, Council Member of Divine Providence Province, for all the beautiful words of encouragement. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father Nanda, delegate for the Grenadian Lay Associations. He has been a mentor and guide, helping us to trace our path righteously towards St. Vanilla's way of living. Thank you so very much, Father. <laughs> we would happy to want to thank Father Adaiklam for all his mentorship, formation, giving the articles and also writing the article on the life history of Father Manila. Thank you so much, Father. <laughs> on behalf of the editorial board, we would like to thank the general council members, the world council members, all the fathers of Divine Providence Province, and sisters of Manilian, Manilian sisters of Indian delegation, for all the efforts in authoring the meaningful articles and very inspiring messages. We would like to thank Father Viswasam, who is currently in Solomon Highlands, living and showing the Manila way of life, as he initially did here and inspired us. His formation has helped all of us sustain our journey alongside Manila with all the, with all the more zeal. Thank you for them. Many have worked really hard to make this article and the editorial board would like to thank each one of them from our hearts especially. Thanks to Mr. Anthony Das, founder and owner of Ant Design Studio. <laughs> he spent days and nights literally working on the designs and making sure we have it all ready for today. We appreciate his generosity by contributing his time and talent and help finish the souvenir successfully. I would like to invite him on the stage and get special blessings from his grace, Father.
the choir for the Holy Eucharist led by Father Shanton. We will be working on feeding the Heavenly Gifts. And I would like to thank Sisters of St. Charles de Romeo for decorating the altar. We have not had an honor by so good to be decorated the altar today. Thank you for your constant support, sisters. And I would like to thank our own BCM sisters for all the support in cleaning and decorating the tent of love. Thank you so much, sisters. <laughs> we would like to thank all the GLM GC members and the youth who have been contributing always, as always, and making this event a successful one. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Whatever is done, we cannot miss the financial. We would like to thank Father Gabriel, the administrator, for all the funds. <laughs> and Father Sunil for the sumptuous food which we are going to have now. <laughs> Last but not the least, we would like to thank all of you who have blessed us with your presence and many other who are not here but always wishing and contributing my prayers. Thank you, everybody.